Oh my god, this is vlog day seven. I completely forgot about it. I was in Walmart. I ran into my old friend. I was so happy to see her. And I, I saw something in here that blew my mind that made me pull out my camera. Now look at these, y'all. My boyfriend bought me a similar cup like this from Starbucks for thirty dollars. Y'all seen it? It's my favorite cup, and I love this cup. I have to have this cup. You know what? Seven dollars. I'm getting the hell up out of here. Uh, uh I'm getting the hell up out of. Here. And then this girl wanted a coca melon ornament. She done bit the arms and the legs off. You putting a pair of police on the tree? Let's walk around Walmart, find a little bit here. Like, do y'all kids chew on stuff like this? I brought all my kids with me to Walmart. Where they at? There's one. What the hell are you laughing at back there? Excuse me. What's so funny you on that phone? What's so funny you on the phone? Yeah, I'm that type of mother. He already left the phone up. This one went about microwave. Legos. What is that? Our globe. Y'all, when no. I say, shut up. AJ, look at me. Look at me. When I say run, no. ain't nobody looking. Get the, let's go. Ain't nobody come on. <laughs> y'all, that's built all over my feet, y'all. Oh, hi. That don't make no sense. Look at these kids. They are just throwing stuff in this park. This is so ghetto. Never take your kids to Walmart with you. My cocoa melon. Your cocoa melon is already dead and gone. This is already costing me $6. I got to pay for it now. Here. Here, look for lights for the outside for the Christmas tree. And everything went up in price, y'all. Like, what the hell? My God, you almost got money out these search on these streets. We damn sure done. We got to figure it out. What color lights y'all want? Whatever cheaper one's going to work. That little girl is just different than raising boys. Does anybody else have uh, issues with a freaking little girl who just turned three? Yo, today she spit at me. Like, have you lost the little bit of mind that you got? Yo, I had to, like, snap back. Like, she's only two, Victoria. Don't whip her ass. I should have whipped her ass. She did get plucked in the lip. She got... What the hell's wrong with you? Ever since she started daycare, she got even worse. You spitting at me and you kicked at me. Then we went to Wawa. She wanted a cup. I did buy it, but not tell her cuss her out about it. Like, who are you talking to? You don't throw that cup at me. I'm not getting you that cup. It was a baby baby shark cup. But it, I know a lot of me, a lot of this has a lot to do with us because she's so spoiled. All she got to do is yell and scream, and we just run like roaches to take care of her. All of us, especially this one right here, the big brother and dad dad. <sighs> she drained was different than when I had them back 10, 15, 11 years ago. Even though it was only 10, 11 years ago, it's a big difference. Boys were, my boys were way calmer. They was just as spoiled as she was. But this one, she yells, she screams, she she pouts, she throws, she has temper tantrums, she cries and cries and cries and cries. It broke. She stressed me out. She is a pandemic baby, and she, to her defense, she has not been out around stores and stuff the way they have because she, because of COVID and being sick, she's been in the house a lot. So when she comes outside, she don't know what the hell going on. So I, I give her the benefit of the doubt for that. But little girl, I'm almost going about to forget that you three and that you mine because you're doing too much. Yo, she's terrible. Y'all gotta tell me how y'all three year old. Listen to her. Y'all gotta tell me how y'all three year old little girl is because. I thought this was going to be good. We just got home. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog because, like, there's nothing else to do. Um, they all want a chicken sandwich from Popeye's. My kids are something else. I come in the house. I say, Big Daddy is sick. Let's all go out to dinner tonight. My treat. Let's just all go out and have to dinner. They're like, no, Mom. We can, we have food at home. I said, oh, they've been around my fiance way too much because that's what he says all the time. He wants a home-cooked meal all the time. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, let's go to Walmart. Let's go get some more Christmas lights and stuff like that. They were like, Come on, mom. I was like, don't you want to get out the house? I swear COVID just messed up everybody's mental. Nobody wants to do anything anymore. Let's get out the house. So then I take them to Walmart. I'm like, I would never bring their ADHD having asses to Walmart ever again. So we're driving home. And I'm like, what would you guys like for Christmas? Christmas is like two and a half weeks away. I don't know, mom. I just don't give up. They don't care. I said, is there anything that you want that you don't have? They said, no. It bothers me that on Christmas Day, my kids are going to wake up and like, what, y'all don't want any gifts? Like, it's Christmas. I guess I have to understand they're getting bigger. So, what do y'all want? My son wants a downloadable PS5 game. 
He asked me for a PS, uh, uh, um, a PC, gaming PC. That's just like $1,300, like in two and a half weeks. I'll get it for you, but it won't be about Christmas. But they don't know what they want. So then the other one goes, oh, just give me a pair of Crocs. I'll be all right. Crocs? Say less. I'll get you every color. Like, I don't know. It's really stressing me out. I guess because I just want to have this big beautiful christmas everybody open the gifts everybody be happy that's the way we are every year but now that they're getting older they don't even want gifts they want like gift cards and stuff like that but i still got the baby she's three so i know i'm gonna hear a wow from her i know i get to play santa claus music and pretend santa claus is coming and stuff but damn every process everything what do you want he goes i want crocs too i said do you know what crocs even are no what are they Avery, what are Crocs? You can't even see them. What are Crocs, Avery? You remember what I told you? It's shoes. No, he said shoes. That Christmas is two and a half weeks away. Normally, I have everything ready and planned. And this year, I have fallen a little bit behind, but I'm ready now. Like, come on, tell me what y'all want. I got I got them down to the wire. Nobody knows what they want. And, like, honestly, they do have everything they want and need. But there has to be something that you want so bad that you don't have. AJ, what do you want for Christmas? I told you. I want uh, Crocs. I want to... Uh, Crocs. Uh, Crocs! Like, what the hell? Why is this stressing me out? Like, these kids don't want anything. Don't like that. Even my fiancé, my boyfriend. Let me tell you the truth. I just say fiancé because it sounds better. But um, that's going to be my fiancé. I claim it. Um, we talked about it even last night. I was like, I love you, Bubba. He said, I love you too, baby. I said, when am I going to be yours? He was like, very, very soon. I said, I know that's right, baby. Yo, I wouldn't know how to ever be asking me to marry him. I've been asked many times over the years, and I've always looked at the motherfuckers like, I remember my first real, real engagement. They worried me so much. I said, fuck, fuck this wedding. Fuck you too, motherfucker. It was over. I was 26 years old. I was like, I'm not ready to settle down. Y'all just lost. Um, I just had gastro bypass surgery. I was dropping 100 pounds a week, y'all. I said, he wants to marry me now. Uh-uh, I'm ready to go out and find me some niggas. Yo, I'm still sitting in this car watching them walk back and forth. Somebody going to get hungry and realize I got the food. Let's see what happens. Conversation until I wait because they're gonna learn. You're gonna take care of your mother. And, like, what is wrong with y'all? I'm really watching them play around, jumping around the house. Like, mm -hmm. wait until you realize you left me out in this car. I do everything for everybody in this house. They are very spoiled, they're very privileged. I, I bust my back to make sure they are all catered to and got whatever you want. You see, they don't know what they want for Christmas. They got everything they want. So, I want you. Look, look I think my son really. Oh, he walked off. That's my middle baby. He's just looking at me. I guess they're not coming to get me. So if I want you to come out to the car and grab these bags so I don't got to carry all this stuff in the house, then God damn it, why the hell not? They always do. So the fact that I'm still sitting here doesn't make sense. And my boyfriend must have not came downstairs. Like he would have been like, where's your mother? And they would have been like, oh, okay. I feel like I'm about to beat this horn. They're going to be like, oh, shit. I can't believe it. So let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation until I wait because they're going to learn. You're going to take care of your mother. And, like, what is wrong with y'all? I'm really watching them play around, jumping around the house. Like, mm -hmm. wait until you realize you left me out in this car. I do everything for everybody in this house. They are very spoiled. They're very privileged. I, I bust my back to make sure they are all catered to and got whatever you want. You see, they don't know what they want for Christmas. They got everything they want. So, I want you, look, look, I think my son, really, oh, he walked off. That's my middle baby. He's just looking at me. I guess they're not coming to get me. So, if I want you to come out to the car and grab these bags so I don't got to carry all this stuff in the house, then God damn it, why the hell not? They always do. So, the fact that I'm still sitting here doesn't make sense. And my boyfriend must have not came downstairs. Like, he would have been like, where's your mother? And they would have been like, oh, okay. I feel like I'm about to beat this horn. They're going to be like, oh, shit. I can't believe it. So let's have a conversation. Screenshot, well, a video of me talking in the car because I put it on my Snapchat too. And I wonder if he's going to say anything to them. But he's probably asleep. He's not feeling well. But yeah, let's have a conversation. I'm actually not even mad about it because this is my peace of mind. I can literally sit in my car right now and be like, 
<sighs> because like they stress me out at Walmart and sometimes you just need a breather all day at work these people are in my head just <laughs> shut the fuck up that's what I want to say and then I come home and these kids are just all my daughter it's my daughter that drives me the most that drives the whole house nuts and just stresses me out so I talked to you guys earlier like what do you do with a little little three-year-old I heard that it gets better but other people tell me it gets worse so what do you guys think so oh my gosh I'm still sitting in this car I'm reading all my text messages on my phone. how long should you be with someone before you realize that they're the one how long should you be with someone before you decide you want to marry them should you live with the person before you get married I say hell yes let me tell you how I was catfished, and I love my children to death, but my last two, father, that motherfucker catfished me. So I met him back, I got lost all that weight, and I was out partying, and I ain't even gonna lie, y'all, I was passing this thing out like Halloween candy, baby. I came across him, he was so handsome, Jamaican, he was short, bald, he had the prettiest smile that would light up the room in a funny sense of humor. So, I ain't even gonna tell you all this. But as I say, he was my my little side. I had um, my main meal over here, but he was my side for years. And I just thought he was perfect. So, when I got rid of my entree and decided I would just want my side. So, we already had a son together, but we wasn't together when so my son was coming. When I had my first son. But then, like, when I left my husband, we ended up together. And when we lived together, I realized this motherfucker had a disability. Should have known because my son's autistic. He has another son with somebody else. He's autistic. What's the motherfucking common denominator? Him! Anywho, um, when we moved in with each other, I would see him just staring out to the distance. You see his name, like, you what, what? He would just laugh to himself. He would just be off. And I realized later, we was never sober when we used to link up. We were both always under the influence. So, of course, we got each other as a representative. Each other. I'm not putting him down. He's a good man. He was funny. He made sure he provided and stuff like that. But the elevator didn't go all the way to the top. He didn't have all his crayons in the box. All the knives in the drawer wasn't sharpened, baby. And, I, and I'm a very impatient person. I'm, I move very, very, very fast. I have ADHD. He moves very slow. So imagine how that just irritated the fuck out of me. When we finally broke up, because one day, he called the cops out of nowhere. And made up this bogus story. Told the cops this bogus story. When the cops came there, he told the bogus story again, and then the cops asked him to repeat it so they could write it down. He completely was like, what are you talking about? I never said that. The cops said, oh yeah, honey, mm-mm, baby, you better get away from that. And I was like, yeah, I realized something was going on wrong, but I was catfish all those years when we wasn't together. It was different when you oh, lived together. He cheated on me, hit me or nothing. Like, he was a good man. He was just, something, his mental wasn't right, and like, I just honestly think he was autistic too. Um, do you guys agree with that, that autism is genetic? Because it scientifically has not proven that. But I think so. I think it's very genetic. Just the simple fact that he has another child that's autistic. My son is autistic. Two different mothers. He's a common denominator. I got ADHD. My, my whole family. We are Adderall out, baby. We all got ADHD. I didn't even think the damn dog got ADHD. We just hyper people. And I know they get it from me. So it's not even a bad thing. It's just like. A lot of um, foreigners don't like believe in stuff like that because we argue about it um, about my son being autistic or medication or therapy he don't believe in none of that shit but anyways long story short you could be catfished and so therefore you need to live with the person first and I ended up having another baby after after that we done girls a long story one day we got to sit down and talk about it this ain't even the tip of the iceberg baby I've been around a lot of years I've been around a lot of new girls, so let me show that, but um, only been, I only had like three major relationships in my life, um, maybe, maybe four, and this makes the fifth one, and this is my person, because I'm older, I'm more mature, 
We are going to live together first. We are going to spend years together first before I ever say I do. But I would love it. And my, look how nice my fingers will look with a ring on it. I had a promise ring once. That's another conversation too. Guess what? I've been sitting in this car for 15 minutes. My food getting cold. My legs starting to cramp up. And they still didn't come outside and get me. I think it's time for me to beat the horn. And they are in trouble. Mm. Well, well, well. I'll be damned. Go get your shoes What are you doing? Come on. Oh. No. You know. Ooh. Scaring myself. Oh, my God. Scaring myself. Like word, like word, AJ. No, y'all no, really made me sit in this car. When the, we get out the car, and what do y'all normally come out here and do? Grab what? And my bags. So I've been sitting in the car for 15 minutes watching y'all play around in the house. Now, is that how you're supposed to take care of a woman? Your mother? Excuse me. Nobody hurt. Girl, they done ran out to care of their sister. You know what? Now it's time to end this vlog because y'all about to see me. Go off on my children like you guys know better. Come around and get these bags. <laughs> this is why my edges is falling out. Y'all stress me out so much. Come on. You want to come say hi? Come on. Say hi. Say bye.